Creo 4.0 sees a dramatic change in the selection paradigm of Creo. Smart selection is removed and changed to a geometry-based selection. A new selection filter is provided so that you can pre-highlight surfaces and edges by default. A left click selects the geometry and opens a mini toolbar with direct access to frequently used commands that you can perform based on your selection. When selecting geometry in the graphics area, the corresponding feature or part is automatically highlighted in the model tree, expanding the model tree node if necessary. If the selection changes, the nodes that were automatically expanded are collapsed. The mini toolbar is also available when you left click items in the model tree. An option is added to zoom to select it. This command zooms the graphics area to place the selected feature in the center of the screen. Selecting geometry in a part provides direct access to creation tools in the mini toolbar. For a selected surface, this might for example include commands such as datum plane, axis, sketch, hole and others. In addition, there are also commands related to context beyond your actual selection. This is referred to as extended context. Typically, extended context of selected geometry is the owning component when working in an assembly and the owning feature when working in a part. A command is available in the mini toolbar to select from parents. This command gives you quick access to parent objects from the selected geometry on which to perform subsequent actions. The use of the Alt key is extended to allow temporary selection outside of the current selection filter scope. For example, use Alt to select features or components. With the new geometry based selection and mini toolbar, you can now reduce mouse travel, stay focused on the design and interact with the design faster and more efficiently.